the killing of a large number of citizens, including children, in the terrorist explosions in Kerman, for which ISIS has taken responsibility is another sign of the destruction and cannibalism of Islamic Jihad on the one hand and the incompetence and worthlessness of the Islamic Republic on the other hand. ISIS and the Islamic Republic are two sides of the same Islamic fundamentalist coin. The Islamic Republic is a machine of death and misery even for its supporters. The lives, wealth and security of Iranians are of no importance to the Islamic Republic, which could have spent the country's resources on the well-being and security of Iranians and to prevent the operations of jihadi terrorists in our country. Instead, it harasses women and youth, trains and supplies Islamist terrorists around the world and tortures and kills freedom fighters and patriots. This regime not only massacres, terrorizes and suppresses its opponents, the majority of Iranian people, but it is also unable to provide security for its few supporters. Supporters of this incompetent and criminal regime should join the majority of the Iranian nation in its opposition to the Islamic Republic, for even they will have an even better life in a free Iran. The solution is clear, overthrowing this evil regime, returning Iran to the path of progress and civilization and providing security and freedom for all Iranians under the rule of law said His Majesty Prince Reza Pahlavi on their ex-social media page. On the 10th of January in Shahid Shah, southern Tehran, at the site of the explosion and crash of the Ukrainian plane due to the IRGC's missile strike, families of the victims gathered, crying out against this atrocity to honor those lost in this crime. Khosrow Malik, the father, of Maryam Malik, one of the victims said, Conducting show trials solely aims to cover up the blood of the innocents and ignore the rights of other human beings in pursuing, trying and punishing those whose hands are tainted with the blood of innocents. It's not an art, it only brings pain and suffering to others. Shiana Rasemi, a victim of flight PS752 to Ukraine, graduated at 19 with a GPA of 19.5 from Bu Ali High School in Mathematics and Physics. Despite acceptance into local universities, she chose to migrate to Canada due to constraints faced by Iranian youth. Shiana promised friends and family a better independent future. Driven by lofty ideas, she embarked on her journey, a journey tragically cut short by the Islamic Republic's bitter shooting down of Iranian citizens. The suicide of a Gilani environmental guard due to financial issues. Behzad Shokati, a 47-year-old environmental guard in Astara County, Gilan province, ended his life by hanging due to his financial troubles. Last year, Esmail Zarrabi, another environmental guard in Astara, also took his life by hanging himself at his workplace. The life of Reza Rasai hangs in the balance, facing imminent execution. It is imperative for international organizations to urgently implement more effective strategies to halt the execution of innocent young people in Iran. Mere letter-writing campaigns to Qolam Hossein Mohseni Ejei, the leader of the oppressive Islamic judiciary, are insufficient and pointless effort. Immediate and decisive action is required to challenge this grave injustice and save lives. Manu Cheh Bakhtiari, the father of Puya Bakhtiari and a monarchist political prisoner, faced a new case open against him by the judiciary in prison. The Revolutionary Court Branch 1 in Karaj sentenced him to 18 years in prison and 74 lashes. 
The charges include conspiracy to commit crimes against national security, establishment, and management of a group on social media to disrupt national security, spreading falsehoods, anti-system propaganda, disturbing public opinion, and collaborating with anti-establishment. The judge overseeing this travesty is a person named Sayyid Musa Sif al Husseini. Manucher Bakhtiari is currently held captive in Chubin Dar prison in Ghazvin. Despite the political prisoner Mohammad Hossein Sepehri's family providing bail for him at the courthouse, Mashhad authorities have prevented his release until the court session. Sepehri, an educator, was detained on September 28th. He was apprehended by security forces for visiting his sister, Fatima Sepehri, hospitalized at Shahnaz Pahlavi Qa'im Hospital in Mashhad to inquire about her condition. He was then transferred to Bakilavad prison. Hadith Najafi, her final words. I want that when I go after a few years, I'll be happy to see everything has changed because of the protests for our homeland's freedom. These were the last words of an Iranian girl who sacrificed her life for freedom. Born on January 5, 2000, went to the streets in Mehshar, Karaj last year for freedom, only to be shot dead by the armed forces of the Islamic Republic. We honor her birth date. Fatima Tabatabai, Khomeini's daughter-in-law, criticized the creation of a song that doesn't include the Imam's name. Some are working to eliminate the Imam, she stated. Does the Imam's bride not know that for years the Iranian people have been struggling against Khomeiniism and his followers? Khomeini's name and his doctrine are a stain on Iran's history that must be eradicated from the homeland.